Hey guys, cool boy, we're back. I'm Rick. Eric. Aaron. I'm Calvin. And we are back with Hunter Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Nice shirt. Nice hey, shirt. Marianne. No, wait. Better <gasps> cooler shirts. New merch! Ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yeah, so we have a Blind Wave merch line jumping so out to you big. right now. And we keep going up. Yeah, it's a fantastic. You got all five of us now. Shane hasn't been Hunter Hunter for a little bit. He'll be back. I think he's going to try to be back next week, actually. But uh, we have some cool merch going out right now over at our store, which the link is down in the description. And for the first month it's on, the, month, the whole month of June, there's going to be a discount for uh, the Hunter Hunter merch, um, which includes these cool shirts and all these other cool uh, colors. But also, there are... I'm Leor. You, can get, you can get the design on a notebook. You can get individuals on the notebook. I'm Leoria. Yes. Rick, who are you? I'm the Hunter Hunter Examiner. Yeah, I forget his name. I can't remember his name. Calvin, who are He's you? awesome. I'm Crollo. Yes, yeah, so Rick, or uh, Shane is um, Hisoka, and I'm Bisky. Yay! And the I most powerful it. one. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. Wait, uh, does that mean, hmm, since wait. we learned from last episode, that you have a cookie? I might be the most powerful one. I do. You're material. And uh, maybe crush on his soda? The chairman. Huh? Wait. The material, yeah. yes. Wait, do you have a cookie that can massage me? I mean, yes, I do. I don't know how well it'll feel. No, actually, it'll feel really good because I have a variety. Variety of cookies? Yeah, squishy, hard, whatever you want. Uh, but speaking of variety, there's also a variety of uh, shirts and designs and notebooks. Go over to the, the store and just check them out. There's some really cool stuff there. Thank you, Top Screen, for helping us design those. Um, and Jancy for putting them together as well. But uh, I, I, I gotta the, say, I think that the Bisky Eric notebook's the best. And I think you should get it over the others. Okay? Why? That's what I'm saying. Why? Why are you saying it's that? the best. About, I want these to sell the best. All of ours. All... I want a competition on who sells the most individual notebooks, and I want to win. Well, and you can use my discount code, uh, which it's, is it's all the you same. Use mine. Mine's Hunter. Uh, it's Hunter. All caps. All right. Use Eric's discount code to get fifty percent off. Hunter. The other guys, you got to do full price. No, nope. okay. that's not true at all. So that's what that is. It works on everything. <laughs> Parallel thinking. <laughs> uh, there's also another design that is just the Blind Wave logo. Uh, want to uh, want a notebook as look, well? Aaron was prepared. Aaron is prepared, it's and true. if you look very closely, it even translates in the middle there to blind wave. How was that, Aaron? Uh, Pretty nice. cool. Okay, so that's gonna be running for the month of June. We've been loving Hunter Hunter, and uh, we wanted to to share this opportunity to both support us and have some cool swag. So go check that out. Uh, description is right here, and or. The title is in the description, I should say. <laughs> yeah. The description's down there with the link in it. How about that? Last time on Hunter Hunter, guys? Yes, let's what? talk about last time on Hunter Hunter. It was an exciting episode. We met Hisoka's replacement, Kalito. Yes. I think mysterious and probably dangerous. Yeah, we don't know. They're all trying to fix Calvin. Crowo. As I said. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, but the most important part mm -hmm. was meeting Cookie. No, yeah, it was. not the most important part. Oh, yes, you're right. The most important part was if you learned that they killed Astra. Yeah. Also not the most important part. No. Mr. Bateri scrapped Batera. the whole project. Uh, yep. that... Right? Huh? Isn't it Batera? Batera? Yeah, it sounds about right. Uh, he scrapped the entire project, so they had to fight for it. They're quite upset. Yeah. They were counting on reinforcements when they exited the game, mm -hmm. but there is only one guy crying in his office. And now they can kill them without the loss of any cards, yep. right? As long as they have the ring. One ring. To rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all in the darkness, no. bind them in the land of One war. ring to find Cookie. Where the shadows lie. All right. Oh, and Hunter Hunter gets into a good battle. Do you think he was waiting for him to do that so that all of his name goes push, and then he's vulnerable? Maybe. I mean, he has a plan. He wanted this to happen. Yeah, but is this part of the plan or is this part of Gon and he's not following the plan? That's what it sounds like. I think a good plan counts on Gon to do that. Because <laughs> <laughs> every, every time that happens, that's what happens. Maybe. I think Gon just wants to take his best shot. He's just... Who he is. It's like Goku, right? He wants to fight him at his best. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like one of those kind of things? Because it felt like, it's like, oh, good, all part of the plan. 
well, I'll finish the plan later. You know, yeah. it's like, yeah. let's fight him. Like, what? He said they happened to agree that if you lose, I get the card. See, he did that, right? Yeah, I don't know if I trust that, though. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, unless, if they'd have done some kind of card thing, where, like, I would Like an unbreakable uh, vow. Yeah, like, I don't know if... <laughs> If there's something like that where it's like, hey, once this happens, yeah. then you can trigger it and we, it happens, you know? But I don't, I don't I know. I mean, Gibthor really has no way to win because Goan has to surrender. Goan is not going to surrender. If Goan dies, the cards are gone. Yeah. So, like, Gibthor has no upside. Once he said, all I have to do is break his will, I knew this was already over. <laughs> Unless Gibthor can somehow, like, maybe threaten the lives of Bisky or Killua, but... Now it's gonna be three on one. If yeah, if happens. they return, dude, Bisky was bigger than Lou Ferrigno at its peak. <laughs> yeah, that was a uh, that was unexpected. I, yeah, even though I've been looking at that art, I know we've had this sitting around here, being like, ah, when the store comes back up, we're gonna launch this because Great Island has been happening. We absolutely love this arc. Let's let's do something <laughs> special for it. Fucking, then the world ended, and now this happened. The savior has emerged. <laughs> and she's huge. Alec Louise Armstrong. When I first saw this, I was like, why am I Bisky? Yeah. And why am I huge and cut like this? I, I thought it was so funny. Shouldn't it be like the, like the fat brother? I mean, <laughs> look at me. Kill I have brother. abs. In this. <laughs> well, that's what I'm like, oh, it's, it's, it's just a yeah. fun image. All Eric this is just fake. Eric is Bisky. Yeah, but it was. Eric's got a briefcase. What the fuck is that about? What? It's good. <laughs> No, I know. I mean, we knew that Bisky was older, and that she must have been using then using then to change her how age. she looked. But I had no but idea. Even the I thought was just the re- old. No, I thought yeah. I thought, I thought that she was just thing, using the regenerative the properties cookie. of cookie, right? Yeah, cookie could massage, and I thought there was stuff there, and that's why she's been staying young. I'm like, oh, that's what it is. This is her power. That's weird, but okay. But no, like she has another thing or something. She just transformed into her adult form. She said, "This is her true form." She said it's hard for her to revert back, and she hates how buff she is. Yeah. Is that why she hits so hard? Because she pushes all of her muscles down into, like, this little girl body? <laughs> yeah, she must be, like, actually changing her physicality. Like, I don't think it's just she looks small. Yeah, I don't think so. No, I mean, she, she, she actually changes ours. her size. Yeah, yeah, she's, um... So if that's the case, then are we going to get, like, a giant man at some point that can make himself grow bigger? I don't know. It was, it was... You could just use Nen to enhance yourself or transform yourself, Are you right? staring at yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking liar. <laughs> uh, I, I, I just... <laughs> I was just dumbfounded, man. I, I, it, Rick is right. I've been staring at this thing, like, sitting over there for so long. <laughs> I just can't believe it. <sighs> I wish you had petticoat. I wish you could see your petticoats in there. I remember going through and being like... I went from like, oh man, I'm Bisky, I'm feeling like at a five. Like, ah. Oh. But then as I watched Bisky and I enjoy the character more, I'm like, you know what? It's pretty fucking cool on Bisky. Now it's a ten. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It was, just, it was just funny. We went through and like, oh man, what's Rick? This guy. What's Calvin? This guy. Aaron. Like, Leorio. I'm like, oh, Leorio? All right, well, he didn't do too much, but I guess that's kind of cool. Like, what's Eric? Like, Bisky. Bisky? <laughs> <laughs> why? I guess they just didn't have a character for him. They At just gave him what was left. I think Shane was like, why isn't he that food hunter? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, man. Okay. Um, a couple of things. Love the yo-yo. Yo-yo's like, cool. The yo-yo is such a cool, interesting power. 50 kilogram yeah. yo-yo. He has two of them. He's swinging around like rope darts and Jackie it, Chan in Shanghai sense. Noon. It makes sense that the strings aren't on his fingers, that they're on his on his, on his arm so he yeah. can still do stuff. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool. It is um, great. It's a little similar. We haven't seen him use it much, but it's a little similar to Gone's like fishing rod. Yeah, we have like that flexibility. Yeah. Did it. he lose that when he came into the game? Is that what yeah. happened? He doesn't have it. Because like they changed clothes and stuff, but I yeah. guess they didn't change clothes, they gave their clothes away, but <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what happened to his fishing yeah. rod. Yeah, so he's know. probably sitting wherever his hunter card is. His license. <laughs> Yeah, he sold it. Hunter license. Probably. No, he pawned it. He got it back. He got it. Um, and then the reveal of why the guy was paying all these people to come into the game. Because you get to take one thing out, and he wanted the card that heals you of any ailment. Yeah. I you feel like the last... three things, right? I feel... Yeah, yeah, you get to take... Yeah, but that's all he wanted. I think yeah. last time we were talking about it, it was like, man, I feel like maybe like someone died or something. Because like, he was just sitting there. He was yeah. done. He was crying. I was like... Maybe he's dying and he finds it's too late. Like, something happened and something's too late. He gave up, you know? I, I, I kind of had the impression it was some kind of, like, blackmail or consequence of uh, getting through. Oh, you mean, like, they 
like killed yeah. somebody, so he's like, I'm and done. And it's like, yeah, I've killed somebody, you know, have them stop or I'll kill more. I thought it was going to be something like that. Maybe. That's when, you, that's when you do the revenge story side of it then. Yeah, I know, but some people's well breaks, you know? I guess, yeah. Not everybody has yeah. the ironclad will of gun. So True. If, if Gene can make that card, assuming Gene made it, yes, then he should be able to... Could he do that just Naturally. outside of the game? Or is it part of, like, the contract of the Nin? It could be a contract thing, because we've had that with, um, with, uh... Shoot, I was going to say Kilo, that's not right. Dang it. Karapika. Yes. Um, we had it with them where, like, the chains and stuff, even though they were stronger from the troop, they were able to do more against them because of a contract of death and whatnot. So maybe this special contract and making it so difficult to get this power to begin with, once you can, it actually does work. So you're saying, like, whoever made this card, why the fuck are they making games and shit and not, like, being, he- a, being a doctor and starting a religion about themselves or something? Yeah. I mean, I figure, like, Gene or whoever made it just doesn't care about money at mm-hmm. this point because they're just so powerful or whatever, like, they're beyond all that, or they just have a different driving factor. Because, gotcha. yeah, like, if he could do this, then that guy would have paid him anything in order to... Yeah. To cure yeah, his. but like I said, maybe it's a thing where it's it's not that he could just do that anytime. It's a matter of like, because of the way the contract's set up with the game using Nin, in order to get it, you have to accomplish these tasks, and these are the rules. You set have to have work, certain conditions you know? for it to be able to. Be that done. that makes it a rare thing. That's why you know, Krapika couldn't just use his chain on anybody he wanted to. It only worked on the troop members <coughs> because of the possibility of death. So, or maybe yeah. Gene just wants to reward people that are worthy. Yep. Maybe. I'm also really curious, like, what happens when someone beats the game? Like, it's been going on for so long, all these people getting these cl- getting close to having enough cards to finishing the book, yeah. and then they beat the game. Like, Some people just live here now. Besides just having, like, well, you get three items. Yeah. Like, is there something else? Like, Does the game continue? Is there an end game? Yeah, or does, does the game end? Does it reset? Does, does it just come and plus? burn everything? I don't know. Does it fall into the sea? I kind of. I, I wonder how. Like, Is there an expansion? <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how a real game like this would play out. Like where, like you're in a virtual world, world of course, but yeah, you know, like World of Warcraft, but you're trying to collect these items to be able to do it, and everyone's like trying to kill each other and take them or trick each ready other. Player one. Some are really hard and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, ready player <laughs> one had the Easter eggs and stuff, but like, I feel like nowadays things, you know. All these Easter egg stuff, people find them so fast, and they data mine them, and all yeah, that Yeah, it's stuff, like, you can, you know? like, every Easter egg, Easter egg in the game is, like, a, on a video of the day before it's released. Yeah, it's yeah. not very, it doesn't seem very often where it's like, man, this game's been out for ten years, and now new things just been found for it, you know? It's, it's, only, like this, once in a great it's only, like, in the speedrun world where they find those kind of things. Like, they found a new, like, route or a new tech that, like, holy shit, we just took off three minutes of the world record, you that know? That was a good one for Fez when it came out, because it had, like, a hidden language, and... It had these secrets that it took some amount of time in order for the internet to figure out. Yeah, you know, like all coming together. But like the uh, like Battlefront Two just had like a a way of unlocking the skin where you have to like go to a certain level, and then you have to do this, and then mm-hmm. do this, and then do this, and then do this, and it's like this long thing where it's like, man, how would you figure out how to do this? And people have already done it. And they're like, did they just find out? Yeah. Did someone leak it? Was it data mined? You know, like because to me, I'm like. Man, I wouldn't. I've been shooting stuff. Yeah. I wouldn't have gone and found this and shot that and collected this and pushed this button. Like, I feel like it would take a while. It was like when I used to play uh, Zombies on Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. It was like there were so many Easter eggs. And it was always like about finding all of them and trying to do stuff. But I didn't want to look them up. It's just, it's it's a, it's a thousands of people just keep doing a high just keep doing things like, you know, like the Breath of the Wild speed runs. You watch those now. It's like, how did they discover this? Like, how? Like, we, we don't raise up the tower to activate the shrines. We just figure out a way to clip into the shrines. You know? Like, how the fuck did you do that? And they just know it perfectly now, and they can finish the game in ten minutes. It's crazy, but it happens. But something that's, like, intentionally put as an Easter egg that hasn't been found, I wonder how many of those exist out in the world from, like, a popular game, you know? Yeah. Or you can be a developer to say there is one, and no one finds it. And then was playing your game trying yeah. to find it? Like, I'm pretty sure in uh, Ant-Man, Peyton Reed said there's one Easter egg uh, when they get down to the, the very small world that no one's ever found. And it's been, like, a point of contention in the Marvel community being like, I think he's lying because we've looked over every frame with computer data learning. <laughs> you know, like, we can't find anything else. So maybe he's fibbing or something. Just maybe. driving crazy. 
Oh man. Um, I'm so glad Bisky's huge. I wonder if. I, I wonder. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we're done with the uh, Cesc Garrett. Yeah. You know, I, I, are they going to come back? Because they still have the cards. They've still spent years playing the game. They won't get the the fifty million reward or whatever, but they could still get the cards that they want. But are we done with Greed Island? Because like, once this is done, will they not have all the cards? Well, the Bombers have them. They have some. Gone has some. And Sesgera has some. Between the three of those groups, they have all of them, I think. Well, but I thought um, Gintru said, like, you have the last two that I need. Mm -hmm. So that would imply... I think they need one from the Bomber, though. And they have, they have the one they need from them, isn't it? Uh, They're missing two cards, I know. I think it was, like, th number... Th Three and seventy-five, or something like that. That because they they said at one point, whenever he's like, "Well, you know, we do this. It's a trade. We will buy you time, and you will give us this card." And I, I felt like there was one more card they were gonna get from Bomber or something. I don't know. Maybe they'll get enough if they do that. I don't know. But they also have to come back, and then Ginru or whatever his name is Ginru. has to actually like give all the cards yeah. too. So yeah. I don't know. I feel like the get through thing here in the next couple episodes could wrap up. We also have the side story of the troop and Hisoka trying to get the Nin Exorcist for Krolo. Well, and then we also have the the person who told how the bomber thing worked, which yeah. they brought up here, which was that guy in the UA costume with the weird fucking yeah. thing wrapped around him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, He's I, the Nin Exorcist. We've said that we thought that that's who they're after. Yeah. Right? We have, I don't think that's been confirmed yet. That's who we assume, right? Not confirmed. I don't yeah. think they've been like, this is the guy and they show sure. him or anything. But. We assume that, and then also the bomber brought him up, so I wonder if, like, the bomber's going to go after him or anything, yeah. or do they actually defeat the bomber here, or what? So. I don't know. The bomber also believes that guy to be dead, right? Because... Well, he, he had a bomb on him. He, he had, had a bomb on him that his worm ate, but the bomber still believes that that bomb detonated and killed everyone that he had planted on, right? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I don't think there's been any... I don't think there's... Karapik has said that he would know as soon as Krollo's like Nin lock unlocked though. So yeah. it's possible that Gintru would know if one of his bombs were diffused. But it wasn't diffused, it was eaten and blew up inside the thing. Sure. So it may not, and he believes that he died. Cause it's not like the Nin was cut off. It was just relocated inside the worm. And it still detonated. Yeah, because Krapika said like he would know if the Nin was no longer there. Which I think the bomb fulfilled what it was supposed to do, blew up and everything. It just got eaten by something that devours yeah, Nin, and the explosion would also be Nin in that sense, I guess. Now, if he saw his name in like the name list, like the player list or something like that, then that would maybe yeah, perhaps raise suspicions. But yeah, or if he took the time to look for it or something too. Yeah, if know. he assumes that he's dead, why would we look for his name? Yeah. So is Bisky just buff genetically? Because you don't have to be buffed to be really good at Nin and be a really good fighter, right? It's, it, I think it's similar to All Might, whereas All Might's body is the big giant body. Um, and then he had, she also has that other form that's not the normal form. Is what it seems like to me. I don't know. I mean, what's his name? Razor was had a lot of Nin. It was very big. Yeah, you see the back of his shorts? And it's like... <laughs> <laughs> so... That was but, a quarter off. <laughs> but my dude is like thin and live, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but how strong is his name? I mean, he's. We don't know. I hope we see him here. I, I, don't, I don't know how strong. Like, is he up there with Krolo? Is he stronger than them and Razor? You know, like, can he's. I don't know. I mean, Ginther is scary. Like, he is the chairman of the hunter, like core, right? Yeah. yeah. He's gotta be strong. Also, Krolo is like skinnier than um, Killua's dad. Yeah. yeah. I don't know who's who's the strongest. Who is the strongest Nin user? I don't think it's based on body type. No, that's how it works in wrestling. That's how it works here. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Check out Patreon for next week's episode right now. And head over to the website where you guys can find all the cool stuff, such as the notebooks, the shirts. Yep. Use Eric's code. Yeah, the notebooks. Hunter. Hunter. It's not, it's not Eric's, Eric's code. It works it's on any mine of, as well. It works on any, any of the Hunter stuff.